Hi everyone. Hello, 大家早上好。We're on chapter sixteen. Chapter sixteen. And、uh, remember what happened last chapter? The Anna was talking to P,、uh, uh, Prince Vasily. Prince Vasily, and then sent Boris to Pierre. Yeah, to Pierre. Yeah. Pierre, after all, had not managed to choose a career for himself in Petersburg. Okay, he was not able to find a job in Petersburg,、mm. okay. and had been expelled from there for ri- riotous conduct and sent to Moscow. Riot means kind of、um, disturb the peace, riotous conduct, and so he was. Remember, he was just Dolokhov, right? So, because of what he did there, he got、uh, banned from Petersburg. What did riotous mean? Riot means kind of disturbing、mm. the peace, something that disturbs the peace. Disturbing the peace, not yeah. peace. Yeah. So what this mean? Got rid of. Got rid of. Sent out of. Sent out of. You're you're not allowed to come back. Oh、That's、my.、Why. Okay. The story told about him at Count Rostov's was true. Ah. Pierre had been taken part in a in tying a policeman to a bear, so he tie he he helped tie the policeman to the、What、bear. He had taken part. Is a joint. Yeah, he he took part.、Uh-huh. There was a group of people. He had now been for some days in Moscow and was staying at the usual at his father's house. Uh oh. Though he expected that the story of his escapade would already be known in Moscow, although the his story of escapade here means the things that he、um, normally some kind of adventure, right? The、What? story escapade means normally adventure. But it it means actually to escape, but it's it's just adventure somewhere else. That's what that means. So he expected that story of his escapade. What he expected? We don't know. He expected something. We have to keep reading. He expected be, that his story would already be known in Moscow. Oh, he know his story. Everybody know his story. And that the ladies and and that the ladies about his father,、uh, who were never favorably disposed toward him. Um, would have used it to turn to turn the count against him. So basically,、um, he he expect that his story is known, and that there's also some woman about his father, probably his、uh, daughters. Okay,、mm, father's daughter. Yeah, would have used this story.、Mm. Can can go. Who never, not they were this woman. Are never favorably disposed.、Uh, they don't. They're not favorable.、Mm. Disposed means your your condition. So they don't. They don't favorably look at him. Look at him.、Dispose. Consider him. Dis,、um, Consider condition. Disposed means your condition. Your disposed is some kind of like、um, favorable. It's a, it's a kind of.、Like, You never have this favorable condition toward. Would have who? The、his、ladies、father. would. The ladies. No, his father. No, it's the ladies. The ladies would have used. The ladies about his father. Yeah. What is about his father? Around his father. Around his father, the ladies would have used it, it to turn the count against him. Turn the count. Yeah. What does count mean? Count Bezukhov, the Sapir's father. Or turn. Turn the count against him. Turn against him.、Yeah. Turn somebody against somebody. What would this mean? Make that person be against that person. Make the count against、yeah. him. Yes.、Mm. He nevertheless, on the day of his arrival, nevertheless. Nevertheless. Yeah. What、I、does that、know. mean? Even though. Even though. Even though he knew this. Okay. He on the day of the arrival. Yeah. Went to his father's part of the house. Yeah. So he went to his father. Yeah. Entering the drawing room,、mm. uh, where the princesses spent most of their time. Yeah. He greeted the ladies, two of whom were sitting at embroidery frames, while a third read aloud. So, two of them were like doing needlework, embroidery. Hmm. And the third was reading. Okay. It was the eldest who was reading, the one who. Had met Anna Mikhailovna, so one of them had met Anna. Oh, that's the one. Remember on the hallway. On the hallway, when she came out of the door, she met Anna on、oh, the hallway. Oh, very cool. Very the cold woman. Sh- sure, cool. cool. The two younger ones were embroidering, like stitching stuff. What? Embroidering, embroidery, embroidery, embroidering,、oh, stitching, stitching stuff. Both were rosy and pretty, and. And that they differed only in that one had a little mole on her lip, which made her much prettier. They're both kind of rosy,、mm. 
and pretty. pretty yeah. And what differed, what made different one from mm. the other is mm. a little. One of them had a little mole, little black dot on Under. her lip, lip, which made her much prettier. So they are twins. Not sure. Mm. Pierre was received as if he were corpse or leper. So Fine. they received Pierre like he was a dead person or somebody. Leper is somebody with leprosy. Leprosy is like um, in the old times you have people with a lot of like uh, red bumps everywhere kind of so people and this is contagious so you don't touch them so they're that's that's called leper okay, so, so leper. corpse is dead person yeah dead person the eldest princess paused in her reading and silently stared at him with frightened eyes okay. so she stopped her reading and looked mm -hmm. at him with frightened eyes yeah. the second assumed precisely the same expression Pre assumed took right yeah so exactly exactly the same expression while the youngest the one with the mole yeah. Who was a who, who was a cheerful and lively disposition? Uh oh. He, she was of a cheerful and lively disposition. Bent over her frame to hide a smile, probably evoked by the amusing scene he, she foresaw. So she is starting to smile already, because she's always kind of a cheerful person. Mm -hmm. So she she hide her eyes a little bit because she thinks that something funny is going to happen soon. Disposition. 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 It's very similar to. Um, uh, we we had it before, but it's very similar to we just had a word uh, here, disposed. Okay, same disposed disposition. Oh, you mean it's, it's state to consider con condition condition. Oh, con condition oh condition, but this is the verb. Yes. Condition and this is a noun. Yeah. Okay. Aware. Okay. So. Um, properly oh, evoked. Evoked. Bring up. Bring up by the amusing scenes she foresaw. I mean, she she predict. Predict. Uh, yeah. Oh. She drew her wool down through the canvas, so she is a uh, stitching with wool. Okay. Oh. And is scarcely able to refrain from laughing, so she's almost laughing. Is stooped. Scarcely able. Is almost, almost not able re to stop. Refresh stop. Refresh stop. So this cure is almost not. Yeah. Scarcely almost not able, able to, to stop, stop from, from laughing. laughing. It stooped, it stooped, bending down. Bending down. As if, as if trying to make out the pattern. As if trying to she's trying to figure out what she's doing. She's trying to hide basically. Mm. How do you do, cousin? Said Pierre. You don't recognize me. I recognize you only too well. Too well. How is the count? Can I see him? Asked Pierre, awkwardly as usual, but unabashed. Unabashed? He's not ashamed. Not ashamed, because he's fa his father. The count is suffering physically and mentally, and apparently you have done your best to increase his mental sufferings. Oh. Can I see the count? Pierre again asked. Um, mm, if you wish to kill him, to kill him outright, you can see him. Olga, go and see whether uncle's... Beef tea is ready. So it's not even the father. It's just like their uncle, uncle right? So it's almost time. So she's so rude. Why she don't allow don't Pierre know. to she see? She added, giving Pierre uh, to understand that they were busy and ah. busy making his father comfortable. Well, evidently he, Pierre, was only busy causing him annoyance. So she's, she's saying, first she says, tell her sister or whatever. Okay, so, so she's, she's telling her sister, go and see uncle. And make sure that his tea is ready, okay? So she's trying to say, you're you're trying to kill you're trying to kill my uncle or your father, or whatever. And, and then she tells her sister, you go and prepare the tea for my uncle, right? So she's trying to say, Pierre, make sure Pierre understand that they were there busy, prepare uh, helping his father to make comfortable, while he was busy. Trying to cause his father problems. It's not true because what they're reading true? and do the sewing stuff. They wanted to make him believe that. That's all that they're saying. It's not true. Olga went out. Pierre stood looking at the sisters. Then he bowed and said, Then I'll go to my rooms. You would let me know when I can see him. Of course, they're never going to let him see him. Why? They want the money. So they don't want Pierre next to the father, right? His father. Shh, they don't have the right truth. So you're asking, you're telling Pierre, you tell Pierre then. Okay, Pierre, you go see your father. Yeah, yeah. He can't. He doesn't want to. He does not do that. Why? He, he, he has to pass through these cousins. You just go in. 
and he left the room, followed by the low but ringing laughter of the sister with the mole. So the, the, the little sister was smiling for some reason. Next day, P Prince Vasily had arrived and settled in the Count's house. He sent for Pierre and said to him, My dear fellow, if you're going to behave here as you did in Petersburg. Stop. Hell, what? don't speak it like a That's how like he stupid, talks. stupid person. It's not okay? stupid. He talks like that. He says he's monotone. But you will end very badly. That is all I have to say to you. The Count is very, very ill. And you must not see him at all. So he says, you don't, if you're going to behave like you did in Petersburg, you don't go see the Count. Because the Count is already very ill. Of course, Prince Vasily also doesn't want him to see his father. Since then, Pierre had not been disturbed and had spent the whole time in his rooms upstairs. So Pierre was just by himself. When Boris appeared at his door, Pierre was pacing up and down his room. Pacing. Pacing? Walking. Stopping occasionally at the corner to make a menacing gestures at the wall. His, what? what? To make menacing, no. kind of like... Kind of like a monster menacing. Against the wall. Against the wall. I don't know what that means. As if running a sword through an invisible... As, as if trying to kill somebody invisible there. <laughs> Fo is a foe. He's a foe's enemy. Enemy, okay. And glaring savagely over his spectacles. As spectacles, his glasses. Uh, savagely means very angry. Savage, like an animal. Animal or... Like and then again resuming his walk... Resuming his walk? He's pacing, goes uh -huh. to the corner, yeah. he stops, stops like attacking <laughs> the invisible foe, yeah. and then he walks to another another place. Uh. Muttering, indistinct, muttering, making muttering, mutter. A severe. No, just making sounds. Making sounds. Indistinct sounds, words, meaning that you can't understand what he's saying. Okay. Shrugging his shoulders and then gesticulating. I don't know, huh? gesticulating as in spitting, I think, uh. in this case. England is done for, said he, scowling and pointing his finger at someone unseen. He's talking to somebody you don't even know who he's talking to. England is done for. He's talking to somebody he, nobody knows who he's talking to. Yeah, what's England is done for? England is a country. Country? It's done for means that it's over for England. I don't know what's over for England. We don't know what he's saying. Scowling. Scowling. <laughs> Scowling angry. Mr. Pitt, as a traitor to the nation and to the rights of man, is sentenced to... Okay, whatever. This seems like a court situation. So there's some Mr. Pitt. Mm -hmm. There's a traitor to England, probably. Mm -hmm. And to the rights of man is sentenced to something. Sentence means that he's going to have a punishment. He's sentenced to... So he will be punishment. Yes, whatever. So so a traitor is... We went speaker? To traitor. Speaker? Betray, you remember betray? betray and yeah. So be the guy who betrays is a traitor. And to... Yeah. Okay, but before Pierre, who at that moment imagined himself to be Napoleon in person and to have just effected the dangerous crossing of the Straits of Dover and captured London. What? So Pierre was pretending. Pierre, but before Pierre, uh -huh. who was at that moment imagined himself to be Napoleon. So he thinks he's Napoleon. He's pretending to be Napoleon. Uh, uh, in person, and, and and that he just actually affected, just affected, caused, caused okay. the dangerous cross of the Straits of Dover. So between France and England, there's water, right? Mm. So you can imagine that they, Napoleon has to cross over that water. Yeah. That's called the Strait of Dover. So be before Pierre, who? Who is who? This is a time, okay? So we have to finish this whole little part here, and then we can see what about they're talking about. But again, you know that at that point he was being like Napoleon. He was like pretending. Who was being Napoleon? Pierre. Pierre imagined himself to be Napoleon. Oh. And he was imagined to be crossed over the streets of Dover okay. and captured London. He's actually even in London already. Oh my gosh. Before Pierre oh. could pronounce Pitt's sentence. Before Napoleon could pronounce Pitt's sentence. We were Mr. Pitt up there. Oh, oh, oh. He saw a well-built and handsome young officer entering his room. So Pierre now saw Boris come in. So before Pierre, Pierre could pronounce, pronounced, say, Pete's sentence. Pete's sentence. Before he said Pete's sentence. Yes. Before he said this sentence. Yes. Uh, it's sentenced to right. Yes. He saw Boris. Yes. 
But the here from here to here is so just to understand what he's doing. Okay, uh, so he's pretending to be Napoleon. That's what he's doing. That's all he said. So, be, but before he could, so this is just for you under this. Just so you understand what he's trying to do. Before Pierre, who at that moment we imagine to be Napoleon uh, in the person and affected the effect across the street uh, to capture London, could pronounce this sentence. Could means could not, right? No, before he could, before, before he actually could pronounce, before, before he could pronounce, he was about to pronounce uh, before he could pronounce. Before. Something happened. Be Something stopped him from pronouncing. Before he could pronounce means he could have pronounced, but something stopped him from pronouncing. Something is those. Uh, no. Something is somebody came in. Oh. Oh! Pronounce Peter's sentence. Okay. He saw a well-built mm. and handsome young officer entering his room. Pierre paused. He had left Moscow when Boris was a boy of 14. So he left Moscow when Boris was only 14. Mm. And quite forgot about him. Yeah. But in his usual impulsive and hearty way, he looked. He took Boris by the hand with a friendly smile. So he he took his impulsive means you don't the think purpose. too much. No, impulsive means you don't think too much. You just do it because you naturally you not yeah. And hearty way, hearty from the oh. heart. He took Boris by by the hand with a friendly mm -hmm. smile. 